Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zatar Gardens. Right over here was a fig tree I had, or I still have. It's a celestial fig. I'll link up in the video right now to show you an older video of it. I've been having problems with it for the past two years and a year in the pot where the leaves became deformed and it would just drop the fruit. I'm thinking it's from the heat of the wall reflecting back onto the fig tree and also probably just in a bad spot where the the water drips off the hoses and just floods that area. Maybe it's rotting out. So I have a new area for it right over here. And before I planted it in this hole, I noticed that I think it's girdling itself. You can see right here, let me zoom out, how all of it's just twirling around. It's not doing much else. Even when I pulled it out of the ground, it came up pretty easily. And that's two and a half years in the ground. Here's from another angle, you can just see it's just wrapped. In most cases, this is not good at all. Uh, sometimes it can mean the tree is going to die eventually, unless you, you know, hack half of this off and go a few inches deep clipping it throughout to open up the roots. So the roots like, you know, when you prune a limb, usually it forks out two branches instead of just one continuous one. Sometimes that happens with the roots too. So if you cut a root, the roots will fork out. Okay, I went through and I cut, I would say three inches deep all around and started breaking up the bottom of this fig tree. So hopefully this will make it in this location. So this is part of the reason why it's not the best thing to have a fruit tree. Like let's say a large one at the nursery and if it's been there a couple of years, you're like, oh, it's a really big tree, I should plant it. You know, it's been there, it's bigger, it's gonna cost three, four, five times as much as the little saplings, like this little peach over here. But you don't understand that this little sapling, let's say if that was a fig as well, is gonna pass up this tree that was really old with a big caliper in a pot forever, you know, for four or five years. That little sapling is gonna, gonna beat it in terms of size and production because one, it only knew a pot, it doesn't know the natural world. And two, you're gonna have a problem just like this. So I'm gonna plant this here. If it doesn't make it next year, I'm gonna be getting rid of this fig or I'll take some of the branches and graft it onto my other varieties. That way at least I didn't lose a variety. Happy gardening everyone.